Hello and welcome back to Grounded. Last time the uh, the bottom of the tree blew up for some reason, so I guess we are supposed to go examine what happened. So let's do that. What was that? I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Amon. Schmechter. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. <laughs> Wendell Tolly, official log. <laughs> Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. Miniature. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns of all of the objects that surround me, the grass! Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? Uh -oh. The very earth is trembling. Oh no. Over there, what could it be? An ant! An ant! My god, today the world has changed forever! That guy's a weirdo. I wanted the flower. It looked cool. We're at the tree! We got roots and stuff. We got big tree roots. Ooh, acorn. Oh. That's not good. What was that? Aphid honeydew. Don't I already have one of them somewhere? Probably already researched that. Old anthill. Where? Oh. Oh. Uh. Am I gonna die if I go down here? Probably. But let's do it anyways. I don't want any trouble, Ant. He's a cool little guy. Oh, okay. I thought that was a freaking boss out bar. Hello, Ant. I don't want any trouble, Ant. Bring me to your queen. Dude, I can't see anything. Can I craft a torch? Something? Oh, I can't craft a torch. I cannot craft a torch. Is hey that? there, buddy. I'm sure there's stuff somewhere out here. I, I don't want any anymore. trouble, Ant. Hello, Ant. Hey there, buddy. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Where is... Oh my goodness. Whoa! It's a giant! Big. You are very big, in fact. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, bud? Could have warned me that there was a pissed off. I don't off want any trouble, Ant. Jeez. Let's <gasps> <gasps> beat up one of these acorns. Ah! Oh, are they busting? Oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah! Nice. Let's go. It was 
some more acorns over this direction, wasn't there? Where's the inventory? There it is. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Acorns. There's one. Oh, what is that? What is a goose? Oh, I got an acorn hat thing. Acorn top. Oh, hi. What is that? Acorn bits. Oh. More sap. Sap is from... Oh, it's from metal. What the heck? So much sap. Big acorn. I got another hat. Acorn hat. Big set. Water. That was refreshing. I hear bees and I don't like it. Oh, those are not bees, those are flies. Alright, I might as well break the rest of these acorns if I have space. Bonk. Bonk. Give me my acorn bit. Alright. Flies, gnats, if you will. I am blind. I can't see. I need you to come down here. Look at that. Some flowers over there. And a home. Go investigate the fire, purple fire. Oh, more acorns. Ah! Ooh, I don't like that. That's ominous. I still got a bunch of space. Break open these acorns. Bonk, bonk. Purple fire of death. Okay, I guess there's just a facility in the oak tree. What in the world? Oh, so the whole laboratory. Oh, that's down into nothingness. All right. This place is. They left their coffee. Oh, another one of these things. Let's go examine this spoiled meat. Spoiled meat slurry. Uh, okay, I guess. Raw weevil meat. Oh, I never did that. Hmm. What is this one? To weevil shield. Oh, that sounds useful. Raw gnat meat. That do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What do the acorn shells do? Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of charges. 
Oh, no, no, the tapes. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. Order received. Raw science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's unpowered. What is this? Oh, is this all set? Oh, my inventory is full. Oh, there's just free water here. Nice. Good to know. Hopefully, that doesn't run out. That'd be very unfortunate. What is all this? Battery backup failure. Air contamination. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what the? System reboot in progress. manager for this project. I am also a robot. Oh, yeah? I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Go on, then. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? How come I can't remember anything or where am I? Hmm. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. <laughs> discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. What? In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Dr. Who's, Tully who's is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. Okay. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks, and now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. Hmm. You are here, in the Oak Lab, <laughs> built and used by out. Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. 
It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Um, okay. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Okay then. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Right, Arg! Then. I am sorry again. It Arg. appears I have sustained what? more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair these facers. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Ooh. Super chips are special. Super and they are chips. gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. There's Return more? with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Scabby? What? Yes, I would Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too. But we are in love. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. Hedge the Hedge lab. lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. Uh-oh. That's not good. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. I don't want to The lab is located spiders. deep inside the hedge. Do that? Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> oh, yes. That reminds me, uh, Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. What? I will reward Except... you for raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those chips. And try not to die out there. Oh yeah, try not to die. Have an right. exponentially great day! Okay, guy. Well... What is this? 500 nice. raw science. Damn. What is this? Super duper. Oh, what? Or a duper disc. It's a duper disc. I have 1,000 silence. Burgle quests, three. Whoa, there is smithing station. What is all this? here a while back. Oh, okay then. I wonder if 
I have more charges. I do have four charges. Nice. What about acorn shells? What do they do? Ooh, acorn armor. Storage chest. Grinder? What is that? I'm level two brain bower. I learned ant armor. Nice. What about the acorn top? Sap collector smoothie station? Garden. What do I do with acorn bits? Huh? Boost juice. What do I do with dry grass chunk? Come on, man. I gotta wait for that to finish loading now. Resource surveyor. Unpowered. Hmm. I wanna wait till all this thing finishes up because we are pretty far away from my other research thing, Jig. I was expecting some, like, monsters. Five to six hundred centimeters away. That's pretty funny. Come on, just one more. Could probably drop some of this spoiled meat, not gonna lie. How could I? What? I dropped some spoiled meat and then picked it up, and now I just don't have it. All right, whatever. I have 30 sap though. That seems very useful. It doesn't look like this drains, so that's pretty cool. Infinite water source. Nice. Yeah, let's go back to base and uh, let's do some upgrading. Is that a juice box? Let's go to the juice box. Wait, is this a pond? That I'm just a little, I'm just a little, little man. I'm gonna get eaten by a fish or something. Oh my God! He just dropped a juice. Juice drop. Oh my God! That is a huge crow. Oh my God! Roses. Roses are huge. It is now. Oh, can, can I pick up these petals? I can. Ooh. Oh, water. I wonder what I can do with these flower petals. Spider! Run! Oh, Jesus! Oh my god, he's fast! <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away! Oh my god, it dropped another. Oh my god, it dropped so much water. Juice in his. Slurp. Soda drop. Get away, get away, get away, get 
away. Go away, go away, go away. More juice. Mm. Can I get in here? Oh my god, I can. I can get in here. What? Yoked girth milk mol mol calcium chewable. Slurp the vitamin infused pitch for it to grow stronger. What are you saying? Is a tooth? What is this? Where's higher tier tool? Anyways, here we are. All right, garden weed stem. What one spoiled meat per garden? An acorn cap. All right, useful stuff. Nice, 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 nice. Flatness up there. I guess we could just place it here, don't we? Now we just need weed stems, wherever the heck that is. Let's go uh, figure out something. Ooh, what is that? Oh, there's one right there too. There's one right there as well. There's so many of these things. Dandelions? Do dandelions give us weed stems? Takes forever to build these things. Um, sure, right here. Hello. Build that over here. Just. I was wondering here too. Perfect. Oh, I can put 
put spoiled meat in as fertilizer? That's so cool. Maybe I should be spoiling meat then. Clover, sprig, grass. What else can I put in here? Can't I grow my own acorns? Eighteen hours. So an hour is a minute, I guess. Okay. Um, I guess I'll get more plant fibers, I guess. Fair enough. All right. I have a lot of stuff now. Uh, uh, do I have anything I can research? I'm sure I've got more. Aha, uh -huh. this one deals. Oh yeah, and those petals, those, those flower petals. Spike, strip. What? What about the petal? Berry chair, bouncy web. Uh, okay, I guess. What about the net fuzz? Okay, cat, why are you yelling at me? Might hat stuff might fuzz on the rocks and might mount. I'm level three brain power. Oh, grub armor. Ew. Oh wait, I already know acorn shovel canteen. Oh yeah, I remember the canteen. But acorn shovel. Uh, how do I make an acorn shovel? Now I have an acorn shovel. Where did it go? There it is. Oh my god, I'm having a stroke. Inventory, I want it. There we go. Alright. Cool. All right, I guess that's where we're gonna leave that one off. Uh, I'll come back whenever these are grown and we can see how that works, I guess, huh? All right, catch you guys later then, huh? See ya.